ladies and gentlemen, you know, I was talking about the tree die off and just me noticing so many trees are not coming back from the winter months. And you can go out to some parts and it's almost like it's still the dead of winter. It still looks like that where, you know, hardly no leaves are on the tree. They're not blooming. You just see a lot of it. And this is April. This is usually when everything comes back to life and it doesn't seem to be the same this year. Now, I have since gone out to see stories and come to find out this tree die off is worldwide. And the scientists are saying they don't know why this is happening in such a big number, but it is. And here in North America, they said they have for the last few decades been out here trying to save these trees. And there are whole regions of areas where none of the trees are showing any signs of life. And that's here in North America. And they're blaming some of it on non-native pests and pathogens. And they said they have taken a serious toll on many of the trees and it has uh, wreaked havoc in just a few short decades. So <clears throat> the potential loss of trees can impact the wildlife, local economies, local regions, cultures, and forests ability to fight any type of thing that's going on. You, you know, the trees, they say, provide a lot of oxygen on the earth. So if they disappear, it's really going to change everything. It's going to change a lot of things, which is not good. You know, America at one time was filled with a bunch of healthy forests and it was filled with wildlife and, and all types of things, but they're saying there's been over the last few years, many pest infestations. And that number is growing every year um, due to the introduction of, and they said a lot of these are non-native species that are now in the country that were not here before. And from these insects and diseases, it's you know, what they're trying to do is everything they can to try to protect and restore a lot of the forests that are around the country that don't appear to be showing much life anymore. And um, I want to thank one of my subscribers for sending me these still shots. Um, Miss W, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So as you can see, you know, this is taken in April. This is the time when you see these trees coming back. And I even looked at some of the trees up close around me that are not showing any signs of life. And maybe on a limb or two, you might see a few little buds, but the rest of the tree has nothing nothing not a flower that you know the trees are not pollinating there's literally nothing on the tree and there's no sign of life that the tree is coming back this year and i mean i think if it was just a few trees it wouldn't have been a big deal but y'all uh, i'm seeing a massive amount of trees that this is happening to and this is all in the northeast of the country. You know? And they said the nature, uh, let me see, I'm just going to go down a little bit. Okay, so the USDA Forest Service 
are closely collaborating with experts and they're trying to figure out what they can do to get rid of these invasive species that have been in the country destroying the trees. And they're trying to figure out a way to bring a lot of these trees back if they're able to do it. Growing trees, of course, if you're starting over from scratch, that's a very slow process. I mean, the trees will grow and they will mature and everything, but it takes a while. It's not like it can happen. And some trees may take many years before they're even big enough. So <clears throat> there's a long way to go, but signs are showing. Um, you know, they're just talking about the scientists are enthusiastic about trying to reverse this thing that's going on in the country. Um, so they said another one uh, species that they are noticing in North America that has been killing tens of thousands of trees is the emerald ash borer. That is one, and it's like a greenish color, beetle-like um, tree. And they said they're very destructive. And that is one of the causes of the tree die off because they kill trees in mass numbers. Another one is a beech leaf disease that they are noticing on trees. And they said they first notice this beech leaf disease in Ohio back in 2012. It's a leaf disease that spreads across northeast, uh, northeastern states and it threatens a lot of trees in this area. And that's been going on that they noticed since 2012. It could have been going on long beyond that. Um, and now there's also something they said they have picked up is beech bark disease. Beech bark disease is caused in large numbers where beech scale insects feed on the bark leading to the formation of cracks in the bark and providing entryway for infection by two species of fungi. And they said this is another thing that have been killing a lot of the trees in the country. Dutch elm disease is another one. It's an open wound in American elm trees that, um, you know, it causes an elm bark beetle to come in and they said it literally destroys the tree. Okay. And there's something called the hemlock woolly adelgid, which is an Asian in invasive species that threatens the health of North American trees. And they said this is especially in the Eastern states. The hemlock die off. Eastern hemlock have killed hemlock woolly uh, trees. They said these trees are like around New York, Hudson Valley, where there's a big tree die off going on there and they call it the hemlock die off. Mm -mm -mm. That's a shame because I mean, I've noticed the trees over the years were not looking the same, but I guess I didn't really notice it until this year, y'all. This is probably the most significant I have ever seen in my lifetime. All right. So they said um, how the tree loss, because they're talking about climate change and how they're concerned about such a big loss of trees worldwide and how it will change the whole climate. Um, if, if this, of course, continues and they don't find a way to stop it. Wow. 
And you, you can just see um, <clears throat> some of these are aerial shots that I'm looking at. Uh, and you can see where it's like a big forest of trees. And then you see a bunch of dead ones in there. But y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. And I know when I was talking about this on live stream, many of you said you notice it in your area, you know, and it just seems like it is getting bigger and bigger each year. You know, usually spring, it, it just looks beautiful because you got the flowers, you got the trees coming back to life. And a lot of these trees, they get flowers all over them and it just looks beautiful, you know. And it is just not, it's just not looking that way this year. It looks kind of, to be honest with you, it looks eerie when you go out and you're like, okay, this is April. Why do these trees look like this? And I know um, a couple of years back, I read a story and it was talking about how some of the trees are taking a much longer time to start bearing leaves and blooming. And now um, they're not even doing that. They're literally just standing there and they're not showing any signs of doing anything. But, I, you know, I just notice it in a big way where I am. And I just want to know, do you notice this where you are? Let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I think, um, you know, we need to take notice to the things that are going on around us. And, you know, it, it just seems to me that this place was so money driven that it didn't care what got destroyed. And I don't really believe they still care. I really don't think they care. They'll look at this as a bunch of nothing, but it really is something, you know, and then I'm looking at some of the trees that are green and they don't look the same. They kind of look sparsy. You know, they just don't look the same. It's like part of the tree is not showing anything. And then maybe the top part, because it's the closest to the sun, you might see some greenery, but the bottom of the tree, you don't see anything. So it's like you're looking at a combination of different things when you go out here. But all I know is this is not the way it should look in April. I've been around long enough to know this. This is not the way it should look in April. Not at all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.